Okay, we got that door done, and uh, let's go to, and let's see, let's do this. This is a double hung window or a single hung window, and there's two of them. There's one here and there's one here. Remember, I just had you put in um, right here. It was just to hold it in place. So I'm going to pop myself over to windows, and I'm going to go ahead and make a rectangle. Now, I'll be honest with you, I'm going to make the one rectangle here because, hello, there's two windows. <coughs> so we're going to do one, and then we'll copy it from there. Okay? And notice, if you look at doors, the doors go from the you know outside, and you've got that trim work around it. So that's why we're a little bit larger. But on this one here, the window is going to go to the inside. So with that, I'm just going to take this big white line and delete it because I have this. Now... When you have your window, this is a double hung, so it slides up and down. The first thing I'm going to do is an offset. And I did this with a rectangle, so it was a lot easier, correct? So I'm going to do just a simple one inch. And I'm going to bring in one inch to the inside, not to the outside. That's going to represent the frame that goes around the whole, whole window. And I'm going to do it again. And this is going to end up representing going around the other part where the, it's going to hold the individual glass to it. Okay? So now the next thing I'm going to do with this is I'm going to take just a single line and I'm going to go from the midpoint of that line to the midpoint of that line. Okay? Doesn't look like much. I've just offset in, offset in. Now, um, my next thing, if you look at your windows, the way they go, this one will go over top. This one on the bottom is going to be behind it because the rain comes down this way. So I'm going to do the offset of one, and I'm going to take this line and come down only one. Okay? That was the middle, and I came down. Now, let's do some trimming, and let's trim this up. At this point, I'm going to take that and that, and this, and this. There you go. That window slides up and down. This one goes over front. There's your double hung window. Well, what if you want to have some stuff um, like you want those, like this kind of design in the window, or you have another kind of design? Then you look at that design and you have to come up and you have to guesstimate. These are only representations. The only thing I'm very concerned is is the size from here to here. And the more detail, the better. So let's go and do something and let's say, see how we have this set up? Well, let's do the same thing for here. Okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take, and I'm doing just the top first. I'm going to take a line and I'm going to go from midpoint to midpoint. Okay? Now, the next thing I'm going to do is see this line right here? I'm going to have it into three separate panes of glass. So simply divide DI, whoops, I don't know if you can see it, DI, DI, DE. So I'm going to divide. I want to divide this line by three. And now, remember way back when, when the snaps we used, there's one that's called node, N-O-D-E. That's the point. If I looked under that line, there would be little points under here. You see two little points? So what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to take a line, and I'm going to type in, I got it. I don't want a midpoint. I don't want an endpoint. I want node. So I'm going to do an O-snap override by typing in node and hitting enter. I'm going to find that middle piece here. There it is. Draw my line down. I'm going to do it again and type in node again. And I'm going to do that here. Now, I'm going to come up here and go extend. I'm going to bring these up, and I'm going to bring these down. And just like I did with these ones here, I'm going to do here. What I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go offset, and I'm going to type in 0.5 for a half inch. And I'm going to take this line and come to this side, and then the middle line, and go to this side. I'm going to do that on this side, one this side here. Take this one up, this one down. 
Now I've got a little bit of a mess going on. But I'm going to take these middle ones and delete them. Because that's what I use to offset things for. Not too bad. I'm going to come in here just like I did with the other ones. And put this in. Now I can do that for this one over here. Or me being lazy. I'm just going to copy it. And now I'm going to trim. And I'm going to get rid of this. Oops. There. Looks a whole lot better already. Now I got to do this down to here to make it look good. So watch this. Copy. You can make a window from here. Over. I'm going to take it from my midpoint here to my midpoint here. Now, check this out. They've gone too long on that, which is fine. So I'm going to trim and hit my space bar. Okay, so there you go. If you want to give a little realistic, watch this. Not too many. I just did a nice slanted line. There's some glass streaks. So there we go. We've got that window. Now remember, I had that other window right here. So once I get one window done, all I have to do is go copy. What do you think? So there's my windows. Not too shabby. So that's how you do a double hung window. That right there is this and it was just a matter of doing a little bit of offset remember I copied that so that looks pretty good to me so that's double hung window for you